I was born and raised in London, England. And uh, when I was about 11 years old, my mom told me she was going to uh, back to Nigeria. And uh, she said she was going back for about three weeks. It turned out that she, <laughs> she was there for eight years. And uh, I was kind of with foster parents here and there, you know. And uh, I got kicked out of the house. And so I remember wandering around the streets of London and I was homeless, had nowhere to stay. I was like 16 years old. And uh, the only help I got, you know, was when I opened up and said, Heavenly Father, I can't do this on my own. Well, I, just can't I was about 18 or 19 when I really first started getting serious about singing. Just, he was just in here in me and I feel like it was just like, it needed to come out. And uh, a couple of friends, we thought were ourselves really cool dancers, you know? We won this dance singing contest, kind of karaoke thing, and we got a chance to uh, win this recording contract. <laughs> the record company was just like a little room with a fax machine and a telephone and like an eight track. <laughs> but we made the most of it, and we started writing songs and everything and performing, and we found a manager that introduced us to some people at Universal Records in England. We ended up in this huge high-rise building, you know, we're sitting in there in marble tables, they play our CD, yeah, we love your stuff, you're signed. And yeah, that's when things started going really crazy. <laughs> I believe we become what we think about the most. Like, I remember back in the day, you know, when I was a boy band, I used to do music just so that I can get girls. <laughs> I used to do music just so that I can get rich. And that never brought me any happiness, never brought me any joy. But now I look at music and, and I take it and I move in a different direction with it and use it for something other than just myself. I, I put out a CD a while back and someone called me from California and said they were going to commit suicide. But they listened to a song and they felt something so powerful and so strong and they decided not to do that. I believe that music heals the soul. That is what I want to be a part of, just helping people to feel closer to Christ. I'm a father, a husband, and a musician. My name is Alex Boyer, and I am a Mormon.